Hello everyone, I have a question for you. Do you love children? If your answer is yes, then we are looking for you. Because during this time, the Children Ministry is looking to recruit more volunteers to sow into the next generation. If you are passionate about them, if you love them, if you just say looking at a child makes you smile, yes, that is the heart that we want. So we can't wait to see all of you being excited to join the Children Ministry. In Children Ministry, there are various departments that you can be part of. The worship team, the game team, the drama team, the tech team, social media, camera, general helpers, and many, many more. There are so many opportunities for you to serve in children's ministry. There will always be a special place for you with us. Do click on the link and apply as soon as possible. We can't wait to serve alongside with you. All passionate people out there that really love children and so into our children, we want you. Join us today. guys and hello to everyone online now before we start i need to ask do we have any new friends here any new friends can you just put your hands up do we have any new friends do we have any new friends no you're not new oh we have first timer here we've got a first timer here hi what's your name should i just share what's your name huh oh she's not new oh, okay well it's good to see all of you and everyone who's here online as well it's good to see all of you guys and we hope you can join us next time physically now who knows what my name is? It's not uncle. I, okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. I come from a very, very, very far place. From a very far place. My name, shh, shh. You need, you need to hear my name, you need to hear my name, shh. My name is, not Francesco, shh. Wait, listen, listen. My name is Cowboy Woody. Cowboy and Woody, yes. And I actually have a friend. I actually have a friend. Listen, listen. I actually have a friend, and he's also here to see you guys. Where's Where? my friend Buzz? Where? Buzz. Where is Buzz? Oh, is way sh way say way say over here? Go up. Why Wi-Fi is like this? Don't crash on me. No. Wi-Fi. Come on. Yes. Okay. It's here. 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 Excuse here. me. Excuse me. Do you know where you are? Ah! 
What? Wait, 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 he scared me, right? Very scary. Look I at him. scared you, but then you jump on top of me. What am I, a horse? Is it? Yes. I'm not a horse. Okay. Buzz. Yes. What happened to you? <sighs> my, my friend Woody. I'm. Uh, I, um. You don't call me Woody. You have. You no? cannot say my name. So I can't. You have say to call so me partner. Woody. Okay. Partner. Uh, partner. 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 All right. Right. So, partner Woody. That's right. I'm tired of the city life. Okay. Right? Do you know how the, the hustling and then the bustling? You know, I had to wait in line just to get tissue paper. I cannot, I cannot, you know. So that's why I arrived here. Wait, wait, wait. You need to get in line for tissue paper? Yes. 50 cent. Man, inflation. Uh. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So you're telling me now that you don't like your country, you don't like your city life? No, I'm tired of the city life. I want to be in the country life now. So which means that you want to start a new life. A new life. A new life. Oh. Okay, okay. Do you guys want to help Buzz start a new life? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So does it wait wait? It doesn't sound like they want to help you. Do you guys want to help him? Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so we've got to get you into the farm life. The farm life. The farm life. Everybody shout farm life. Farm life. That's right. So, my friend Buzz, what is the farm life? If you want to join the good old countryside, mm -hmm. you've got to know the farm life. The farm life. So, so the, the first thing we have to do, we yes. have three things to help you. We've got three things, okay? Three things. Three to things. help you. Me. Yes, you. Me. Yes, you. Me. Okay, one time is enough. <laughs> so, look at the way, first of all, everyone see, look at the way he's dressed. Is this well dressed for the, city, for the countryside? Fancy. No, what? right? Okay. We've got to get him up. Okay, can we have his clothes up ready or not? His clothes. What? All right, we've got to dress you up. Dress me up? Yes, you look like... You look like a businessman. You're not supposed to be a businessman. Of course. You try... Okay, with these clothes, ah. Uh, with these clothes. You try to get on the horse. You try to get on the horse. Not me, ah. Uh. Okay, you okay. You try? You try? Hold on, hold on. He needs try? to be on this side, this side. Okay, try. Cannot... Don't <laughs> drama, <laughs> like, get up. <laughs> ah, 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 you ah. cannot, okay? So, we need to dress you up. Dress me up. So... We need two kids. Two kids? Two from this side and two from this side to come up on stage and help dress you up. So buddies, okay, can you help okay. pick those two kids? A bit quicker. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We have to dress you up, okay? So okay, you stand okay. you stand behind here. You stand so behind, stand here. behind here. here. You stand behind here. Stand right, here. Stand, stand here. Behind. Okay. Two kids. Okay, come, 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 come. All right, all right. All right, come. Can you wake here first? All right, you all right. Hello, hey, hello. all right. Come on. We got two from this side. We need one more from this side. Where's another friend? Okay, come, come. All right. Hi. All right. Even, even excited at the there's something Are you ready to help me? Nice. Okay. Whoa. All right. Stay here. Okay. All right. What's your name? Damien. Partner Damien. You? Ada. Sorry? Ada. Partner Ada. What are the names? What, what is your name, partner? Liu. Liu. Abby. Sorry? Abby. Abby. Partner Abby. Abby. All right. So, Luke. Abby, Luke, Damien, Ada, and Lucas. You guys have to help dress up this guy because he's not dressed well. He's not dressed well, right? I'm dressed better, isn't it? So, we need to dress you up. So, if you guys can, everyone take one item. Okay, you can hold the umbrella first. You hold the umbrella. Okay, you hold the whistle. You hold the t-shirt. Okay, you all need to dress. Okay, put the clothes on. What's your name again? Okay, Buzz. Okay, so Buzz, you got to take out your clothes. Take out your clothes. You got to dress him up. Come on, dress him up. Okay, go put the shirt on top of him. Go put the shirt on top. Okay. All right, put the shirt on. Okay, now put the whistle. Okay, and where's his umbrella? And your pet duck, because now you're in the farm. And they, all right. Put the whistle on. <laughs> okay, all right. He looks good. Your shirt fell down. Put your shirt on. Put your shirt on. Okay, hold your mask. Yeah. Oh, okay. Put your shirt on. Okay, you guys can go and sit down. Thank you very much. All right, now hold the umbrella. Okay, faster. Your umbrella is waiting for you. And your duck fell down again. Faster. Faster. Put on your shirt. And your ducks are down again. Put your duck properly. Faster, put on your... Come on guys, cheer for Buzz. He's so slow. Come on. Come on, Buzz. Come on, faster, put on your clothes. Finally. My goodness. Nah. Okay. 
All right. Now you look much better. He looks much better, right? He looks much better, right? All right, all right. So can we get this table? Thank you, Jimmy Kakao. Okay. Now, all right, my friend Bas, come here, come here. Bas, come here. All right. Now that you're well dressed, indeed, we gotta get you to the 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 farm, the farm. Ah, Of course, so how can we I gotta go? Alright, so let's go. I bring you to the farm. All right, all Make right. a big round. Uh, I'm not, I'm cross, hey, cross the river. Cross the river. Careful. You jump. One, two. The there. One, two, three. We done. Okay. Hey. What? There's no cows here. Where's the hay? Not hay. You need to call the cows home first iPhone up. You want me to call them? I can call not them. Not with right your now. phone. In the farm, is there any phone in the farm or not? Exactly. They are smarter than you. Huh? There's something in my eye. Um, we need to call the cows. Cows. So okay. y'all have to help me call the cows, okay? How what sound does a cow make? Say it again, say it again, I can't hear you. Okay, so all together now, we're gonna call the cows. You know how to make the cow sound? Wait, I thought cows go. Yeah. This is cow or donkey? You're supposed to call cows. Cows. Yes. FaceTime. So, not FaceTime the cow. Okay, okay. Stop giving me complications. Ready? So everybody, together we count moo. Ready? One, two, One, three. Moo. moo! Okay, are the cows home? Hey! All right! So, the cows so, are back. Wait, wait, what? What, what? what are the cows' names? This is breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh! Okay. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. That's right. Okay. But now, my friend Buzz. Yes. We've got another problem. What's the problem? What are we going to use to feed the cows? Very easy. What? Milk. Cows give milk. We cannot feed them milk. But there's baby cows. Ah, yo. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure we need to get plants for them, right? Ah, we need to get plants, grass for them, right? Plants, plants. So, how are we going to do that? I'm pretty sure you know a way to help, uh, right? Of course. I, I learned this from the internet. Internet? Yes, from Google. You're not supposed to use your phone here, but okay. Okay, so. All right. This is how we need to say this specific phrase. Okay, so, let okay. me hear what you have to say. You're <coughs> the <coughs> You calling more cows or you calling plants? Plants. I mean. Plants. So, so do you say it again. Say it again. I can't hear. Say it again, probably. Okay. okay. Let say me, it again, guys. Let listen, me listen, huh? Let me pronounce it. Hold on. You're the So which means wait, wait. So which means bus? Yes. Everyone here has to say that. Yes. Well, okay. So we gonna try. We do a trial run. Okay. Try we do on, a trial run. Okay. Ready? Try. Okay. You lead us this one, David. All right. Uh, all right. All right ready, ready. 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 You're the lady. That is okay, but I think you guys can do much. We, we can, can do, do better, better, right? We can do better, Bas, we can, can do better. better. Right? We try again. Ready? One, two, three. Yo, the lady. Are the plants here? Yeah. There's only one. All right, we've got our plants. Hey, Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> the plants are here. Stop the singing. plants are here. Finally, you've helped us. Yes. But don't we have something to do with these plants? Yes. What? We water them. Am I correct? But we've got no water here! Don't worry. I bought this from eBay. eBay? <laughs> it's a farm. There's not supposed to be any. Where are you going? Don't worry. Faster, bus, come back. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting it. Uh, uh, what uh, is he uh, getting? This. Hold uh, on one second. This is the water. That's water? Yes. Where's this the water? It's a gadget. From the city. From the city? From the city. Looks very nice. Indeed. So how does it work? We have to water the plant. Yep. Hold my mic. Okay, I'll hold for you. So he puts it down. I put it down. I had to... Hold on. I need to pull this up. Whoa, that's so cool. And then I... Hold on. And then I... Uh, hold on. This ain't working. Hold on. Hold on. Water the plants lah. Wait, wait. The plants are here. It's here. It's here. Try. <laughs> You're not supposed to spray on me! Oh. You're not, stop! You're supposed to spray that I'm holding something, right? No, 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 stop! Stop! You're supposed to spray the plants, not me. Oh, now I'm all wet because of you! I got no more clothes to change! Ah, uh, don't worry! Uh, okay, anyway, I, I now that you've watered the plants, I'm at least clean now. 
Yes. We've got plants. We got plants. We've got cows. We got cows. We've got you dressed. And we got this rubber duck. You're not supposed to take this. What? This what? is my duck. It's a duck. Yeah, I'm gonna have it for dinner later. Quack, quack. So we need to have one more thing now. What? We need to have some music, right? Country music? You know any good music? Of course. All right, all right. I know, I know. But guys, you know? Yes. But guys, I need to. I need you guys to calm down. Just calm down. What are you gonna do? I need them to be silent. silent. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna sing. You're gonna sing? I don't wanna go deaf, you know. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> what are you doing? Country roads. Oh Take me home to the place I belong. Uh, 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 country wait, wait. Shh. Okay, I appreciate the effort. Yes, but unfortunately, you're not as good as someone. There is this very special group here. They can sing really well, and they're gonna get all of you to sing as well. Do you know what is it? it is Praise and worship! Yeah! Come on, everyone, let's get ready to praise God today. So let's stand yeah. up. Come, come on, on, everyone. Stand up. Come on, everyone. Come. come on. Up, get on up, your up, feet up, today. Up. Come. Come on, come on. Up, up, yeah, up, stand up. Up. Be fast, be fast. Up, come. Up. You know, today I'm really excited for praise and worship. Oh, why are you excited? Because today we're going to be learning a new song. New so, song? Wow! So Dylan Coco, why don't you show us the action? Okay, okay, let's Okay, see everyone, ready. follow me, okay? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Come on, everyone. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Come on, let's try it. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Okay, we're back to the Dylan Coco, I think they're ready. I think so too, yeah. yeah. So let's try it together with the song, alright? Let's try it with the song, okay. Now, wow. I'm drawing closer.
three, let's jump. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Y'all know the song running after you, right? Ayo, yes. y'all don't know, is it? Everyone, do y'all know the song running after you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! So come on, let's get ready and let's pray because God is worth running after, alright? Come on, let's come Everyone. on, let's clap.
know, we just sang the song, Drawing Closer, Running After You. Why don't we just don't get distracted by our friends? Today is the time to come before God and ask, Lord, will you guide me, Lord? In my life, in my school, in my home, guide me so that I can be more like you. Yeah. So today, even though your friends may be kachowing you, but let's just focus on God today. And let's make this our prayer. Lord, will you guide me? Will you show me the way that you have for me? Thy word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When I feel afraid. When I feel afraid.
Sing it loud to Jesus. Come on, all over this place. That's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's our prayer, Lord. Thy word. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light. One more time. Come on, let's sing as loud as you can. One more time. Thy word. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. Your word, Lord. Is the one that guides us. It is not our friends. It is not our leaders. It's not even our pastors. Lord, it is you. Your word, Lord Father. The Lord, as today, as all of us have just worshipped you in this song. The Lord, as we are in this life with you, in this relationship with you, Lord, it is our prayer that, Lord, you be the one that guides us in everything. We want to say that we need you in everything, Lord. Right now, can we just spend one minute, okay? Everyone just close your eyes. I want everyone to be quiet. No moving around, no, no shaking, nothing. I want everyone to just stand still. Standing still with your hands lifted up as a sign of honour and respect to Jesus. Okay? Let's be serious with Him. Okay? Everyone close your eyes. Spirit, we just invite you here. This is your house. Allow us to just be connected with you to just minister to us even right now. Every single one of us, bodies included, that Lord, this is a church. Oh 
Father, Lord, we just thank you for your presence here with us this morning. That, Lord, as we are here, Lord, we just want to worship you. Lord, we just want to honor you. Lord, we just want to thank you that we are in this relationship, this life with you today, Lord Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Holy Spirit, as you are here, would you just minister to every single one of us today? Even as your word is being shared to the children, Lord, I just pray that they will catch something directly from you, Lord Father. That the Logos, the word will become Rima, a word, a revelation that is specific to them, that comes directly from you. So we thank you for today, Lord Father. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone say, Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus a big clap offering. Come on, yay! A big one. No, no, I say give Jesus a big clap offering. Not a small one, two, three. A big Woo! one, yay! Hallelujah. Thank you, guys. Wow. Welcome back to Kid Zone online and physically as well. There's a lot, again, so many of you. And then today, it is an exciting day. Why? Uh? Because if you notice something, if you look behind me here, a word, two words have changed in this picture. This picture was what we used last week as well, but it has changed a little bit. Let me see if you all notice what were the different words. What's that? Okay, hands up, hands up. Don't shout, don't shout. Hands up. Let me see. Yes, the girl over there in the white color one, the jacket one. Yes, you. Yeah, you, you, you. Yeah, in front of yeah. What what is different? New life. Okay, good. New life. That's the new word. What was it before this? Who remembers? Before this word, new life. Last week, last week. Let's see, you remember or not? You have the answer? Okay, yeah, the girl behind also. Yes, the one in the dress. You can shout the answer from there. Yeah. What was the word new life last week? What was written there? Any idea? Don't know? Okay, never mind. Fellowship. Okay, yes, fellowship is actually here. Fellowship was this one. Fellowship series, you are correct. This one, what was this last time? Uh, okay, let, let's try. Okay. Friendship, okay. No, just last week only. What happened last week? Can you remember or not? Ah, yes. Revision, exactly. Well done. Last week was revision. And correct. This was uh, fellowship, uh, friendship, okay? And then this was revision. Today, we are in this new series. New series, you know, series means what? Means like a whole new chapter like that. That previous chapter changed already. So it's like you open a book, 
chapter 1 finished, chapter 2 finished, now we are going to chapter 3, then you got chapter 4, chapter 5. So in chapter, this chapter, in this series, we are in the discipleship series, okay? So, what is this discipleship series? For the next few weeks, all of us will be catching what it means to be disciple. What does it mean to be disciple? Who knows the meaning of disciple? Being a disciple or discipleship. Let's see you understand or not. Yes, the one in purple. Ah, very good. So a disciple means it is a follower. Exactly, it's uh, considered as a follower. So a disciple means it is a follower. Now, being in a, 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 a follower or a disciple, we need something, right? So a disciple is a follower. So who is the person that leads this follower? There must be someone who leads, right? Okay, what do you call that person? Okay, what is the title uh, of that person? Okay, let's try. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, yes. Okay, the one in hoodie in front of you, Rebecca Chacha. A rabbi. Is it a rabbi? Wow, wow, that's very, very well. Jewish rabbi, yes. Rabbi, rabbi is a teacher. Okay, so actually, if you think about it now, to have a disciple, you must have like a teacher, a rabbi. Or a master, a master or a disciple, the person that disciples the person. So that's why we are in this series. Who is our master? God. God is going to show us a lot of different things that as Jesus is here, He's going to disciple us. You can call Jesus or God the Father. Okay, so we're just going to use the word Jesus. Okay, He's going to be the main master to disciple all of us in this new series. So today we are going to focus on this which is called New Life. Today is called New Life. So can I have my slides up or is there something wrong? If, Alright, New Life. Now, so remember discipleship, the thing is the big word, but today is New Life. Now, oh, let me just see why is it. Mm, uh, uh, it's not working. Uh. Oh, wow, okay, you all better press for me. doesn't seem to be working. So, it's called New Life. Okay, can let me, do I try it again? Okay, uh, let's just try again. See, it works or not? Yes, now it works. Okay, so this whole New Life, let's start. It all starts where? In the Garden of Eden. Okay, so all this thing all started in the Garden of Eden. And... You're going to be watching a little clip, okay? A little video. I want everyone to pay attention. And there are two groups of people that is happening inside there, okay? There are two groups. First, ah, the most important one, I, I don't show you this. You all watch and then you all tell me who are the different people in this story. Okay, are you all ready? Ready? Okay, everyone, we're going to watch this video together. Oh, it doesn't... Mm. Okay. Stories of the Bible. Adam and Eve sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve. Hey. Who were the first people on earth. They lived in the garden Can we have of it a Eden, bit louder, please? which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey, Eve! Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. 
Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh no! And they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, Where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, What have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals. But God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin. So he sent them away and closed up the garden. Okay, so this is what you notice. Everything started in the Garden of Eden. Okay, who were the people involved in that story? You had... Let's see. Okay, since you all try. Okay, let's, let's just see. Okay, how about the one in the boy in red over there at the end? Yeah. Sorry, Adam. There was Adam. Okay, so there was Adam and Eve together. Okay, that's one category. Then there's two more categories, two more groups of people in that sense. Okay, let's try here. Uh, yes. Okay, so you got Adam and Eve, and then you got God. And then you got the serpent. Three categories, right? Okay, so you see, so just to make sure everyone understands the story. In the beginning, God created Adam and Eve to be in the Garden of Eden. And in that garden, everything was perfect, was good. That was how God created all of them. But what happened? Adam and Eve and God, were they connected very well? Were they like very close friends in the garden? In the beginning? Yes, they were actually very close friends, one. Right? But then something happened. Why? The serpent tricked them to eat the fruit, correct? And then what happened? What came in? What came in into their life that made them open their eyes? Huh? See, you caught the word or not just now. There was a word that was mentioned just now. Okay, let's try. Let's see. Who wants to try? Okay. Yes, the one in black color. Yeah. Okay, the fruit of knowledge we, uh, so that the person know what is good from uh, evil. Okay, then after that, when they took it, really very good answer. What happened? What came into their life? Ah, starts with S, one S. Let's see, you know or not. Okay. Yes, you want to try? Sin, exactly. Wow, exactly. Sin came into their life and separated them. At the end, what happened to the story? Could Adam and Eve stay in the garden where God was together with them? Could they or not? At the end, what happened? They were sent out. They were pushed out to say, because you know why? Now, sin has entered. You know what is good and what is bad. I'm sorry, you cannot come close to me anymore. Actually, that is what happened to all of us in that sense. If when, when we have sin, all of us are actually very separated from God. So, just now, I'm going to focus on the two characters. First is all of us. Okay, and the second is... God, there's two main characters. So you all can see, okay, I show you here. I show you here. Okay, God and us. There's two categories. So just now, originally, we were together. One. God and us are very connected. But something came in between, right? Sin. Separated us. We cannot come close to God already. But does it mean it was the end? Ta-da! No more. Finish story. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, God and us cannot come together. Bye-bye. That's it. Is it that way? No. It's, it's supposed to be that way, but things have changed. 
right? We know that sin separated us from God, but things have changed. What changed? Ha! Ah, this is the special thing. Oh, why did it go back to that again? Okay. Something happened. Jesus. Ha! Ah, Jesus came. Do you all know this name, Jesus, or not? Yeah, Jesus came. So you all can see, Jesus became our Savior. Why? He saved us because, you see, initially, there was, we were together with God, right? Then later, it was split because of sin. But God doesn't want us to be split away from Him. He wants us to be connected to Him as much as possible. So, that's why Jesus came down. Remember, Jesus came down and He died on the cross for us. When He died on the cross for us, He took away that sin. Wow, this, this little vacuum, this little thing that uh, separate us from God. Uh. What happened? He came and became that bridge. He became a bridge so that all of us and God can be connected together again. And how can this happen? This only happens when we accept Jesus into our heart. When we accept Jesus into our heart, what happens? We have this new life. And what is this new life? A life that now us and God can be connected again. So that's why in this series, we say discipleship series, we are using this word new life. Everyone say new life. One more time, new life. In this new life, we are now connected back with God because Jesus came. He took away that sin. But does it mean that we don't sin anymore? Still God. We all still sin one. But because now Jesus is there, He died on the cross, that blood covered that, that, that sin, that original sin that Adam and Eve started. Now we can come back to God. Now, let me come to this. This picture, look at this picture, right? This, is, this represents that Jesus died on the cross. Jesus' biggest gift to all of us is that He died on the cross for us. Did we earn it or not? Earn it means what? Example, earn means you study very, 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 very hard and then you do well for your exam. Do you earn it to get that uh, points, that high marks for your exam? Yes, because you study very hard, ma. So because you study hard, you get good points, therefore you have earned it. But when you come to the Bible, okay, when Jesus died on the cross for us, did we earn it or not? Did we do something so good that Jesus said, wow, you know what, Ethan, because you did so well, uh, wow, I'm so proud of you. Wow, Amanda, you did so well, uh, I'm so proud of you. Wow, Gwenelle, you have been doing very well in your life. Because you all do so well, I'm going to die on the cross for you because you deserve it. You deserve this gift. Did that happen that way? No. Jesus died on the cross, His gift for us, that one was, He just wants to give it to us. We don't earn it. But say, true or not? True or not? Maybe Jeremy Coco, you simply say one, maybe we actually did very good and then Jesus said, actually you, do, you did well and then we will give, uh, Jesus said, I will give this gift to you. Okay, I'll show you like, see like what the Bible says, okay? This is what the Bible says. Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9. Everyone, let's read it together. Let's start from here, okay? One, two, three. For it is by the grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can... Let's read it one more time. Louder, okay? Let's start again. One, two, three. For it is by the grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. This is what the Bible says, not what Jeremy Coco says. He says that this gift, we have been saved. Because Jesus saved us, my right, on the cross. He saved us not because we did well. It is because He wants to give it to us for free. He didn't charge us in that sense, right? Say, if I do this, then you must pay me back and all that. No, Jesus said, okay, this is a gift to you, not because you deserve it. Okay? He 
personally gave it to all of us. So we cannot, what's the word boast here? Who understands this meaning, the word boast? Who can explain this to all of us so that we understand? Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, yes, the girl that in front of Felicia, Cheche. Cheche. Ah, okay, very good, well done. So, wow, okay, thank you for the answer. So, what your friend just said, boasting means you cannot tell people that, oh, because I did this so well, that's why I get it. Boast is like, hmm, it is because of me. No, it is not because of me. The Bible clearly says that this is from God. So, now, this is a beautiful gift that God. Jesus have given to us. He died on the cross. No one can give us this big gift. Now, let me just ask you a, a question. So, if you receive a gift from someone, a present, okay, what would you do? Would you say, for example, okay, let me get, get someone to help me. Let's have uh, Richard Cheche come since you are there. Okay, Richard Cheche, come on stage. Okay, come here. Okay, you stand here. Now, if I have a gift to give her, so what is this gift? Okay, let's everyone pretend. Okay, so imagine this guitar is mine. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna unplug the guitar. Yeah, is it off? Ah, uh? off, off, off. Okay, so imagine, wow, this guitar is mine. I tell you, who yo, very expensive one. No, cannot drop. Oh yo, cannot drop one. No, this guitar is see, sh- nice or not? Nice or not? Nice. How many of you want this guitar? Okay, I throw you cash. Ah. Uh? <laughs> Hey, why? This is my guitar, ma. Okay. So now imagine this guitar is so beautiful. And I say, ah, yeah. I think uh, because I at home I got another five more guitars. Ah, I want to give this guitar to someone else. Okay, so I say, ah yeah, look like Rachel Cheche like to play guitar. I, I, Rachel Cheche like to play guitar or not? Yes, right? So I see her play guitar sometimes, uh, but I don't know which guitar she plays. Uh. So I want to give her this guitar. Uh. I specially say, okay, Rachel Cheche. I want to give you this guitar. But wait first. The question is this. Do you think she deserves this guitar? That she do so much and that, oh, I deserve to have this guitar. No one else deserves. I deserve because I play guitar. Yes or not? Ah, she can, can she say that I deserve all this guitar or not? Better than Jimmy Coco. Maybe say, oh, Jimmy Coco don't deserve this guitar. Lah. I deserve this guitar. Is that something that Rachel Chacha should say? No, right? I want to give this guitar. It's up to me, right? Do I need to say, oh, you deserve this better than someone? I give. So I say, okay, I feel I want to just bless Richard Cheche with this guitar. Okay, so Richard Cheche, this is my guitar. I bless you, okay? Now, for Richard Cheche, now let's look at Richard Cheche. She received a present from me. A present that she do not deserve. I just want to give her. Let's like a Christmas present. I say, this is your Christmas present. Okay? So for her, now that she receives the present from me, what do you think is something normal that she should do? Huh? That when she receives a present from someone and she didn't deserve it, what do you think she should do? Okay, let's say, okay, let's try. Okay, yes, what should she say? Say thank you. Is that what you said? Say thank you? No? Okay. Yes, the boy behind there. Be glad, is it? Be thankful, exactly. So she needs to be thankful, right? So, Rachel Chede, how are you thankful? How do you show that you're thankful that someone gives you guitar? Oh, she want to cry. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, that is one way to say thank you. That you say, oh, thank you so much for blessing me. Okay, thank you, Rachel Chede. You can take my guitar home. Okay, yeah? Okay, wow. Okay, so this is just an example. When we receive a gift, what we should do, we should say, Thank you. So when Jesus gave us this gift, how can we say thank you? What can we do to say like thank you to this Jesus that He gave us this new life? What can we do? Let me show you. Very simple. We learn to honor Him. Because Jesus gave us this new life, we want to honor Him. And how do we honor Him? This Everyone read the, the black color one at the bottom. Okay, follow Him on. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Yes. So you see, friends, God and us 
originally, yeah, here, originally is supposed to be together one. But sin came in and split us. But Jesus came and saved us. Therefore, we can come back to God. You know, in our life, we are not meant to be alone one. God created us uh, so that we can be in fellowship with Him. You know, the word fellowship, we learn about being friends with Jesus. Some of us here today, maybe you feel that, you know, you are alone. You don't have friends. You got no one to talk to. In this life that I have, it's so boring. I got no one to help me. Is that true? No. If you have said, Jesus, I invite you into my life, we are no longer alone. We are connected to God. But today, some of us, we have not said to Jesus that, Jesus, I want you in my life. Some of us have not said that. And that's why maybe you feel that, oh, I am so lonely. I don't have anyone. Why am I like so lost? Today, as we learn what it is to have a new life, it's not just a new life that we are go, going to a new place. It's this new life that is a new life with Jesus. And let me ask, how many of you, you have said the sinner's prayer? Sinner's prayer means you have said, Jesus, come into my life. I'm a sinner. I believe in you. I want to be a Christian. I want to follow you. Hands up. Hands up if you have said that before. Okay? Meaning, you are, in a sense, you are a Christian. Hands up. Don't be shy about it because this is something you, is between you and Jesus. One. Okay? Hands down. So, for all of you that you have already received this beautiful gift, follow Jesus 100%. Don't halfway stop. You say 100% means 100% every time, every day of your life as you grow old. Especially those of you who are 12 years old this year. Who is 12 years old? Hands up. Preteens. You are 12 years old. Okay? All of you after this, you will not be in kid zone next year. You will graduate already. You go to Narrow Street or wherever you go. I want to make sure, I want to challenge all of you. Follow Jesus 100%. Because this new life Jesus gave to you is not cheap. He had to die on the cross for that. Don't take it for granted. So today, for all of us as in this series, how many of you, you want to have this new life? Because maybe before this, it's just you. It's just you alone. Today, God is coming here to say that, hey, I want to be with you. I don't want you to be alone. How many of you say that, okay, you know, I want to know this Jesus. I want to have this new life with Jesus. Hands up, okay, hands up. If that is you, you say that, I want to say, Jesus, I love you and I want to follow you. Very good. Okay, now this is what I want everyone to do. Can I invite your worship team up? Can I invite everyone to stand up? Everyone to stand up. Okay, everyone to stand up. Okay, we're going to spend some time being in the presence of God, worshipping Him. As for those of us or who already have this new life, which means you have already accepted Jesus into your heart, Praise God, wonderful. But today, I want to look at those who have not invited Jesus into their heart. Just now, the ones that raised their hands. Okay? So, if that is you, again, if you have not said this prayer before, that you have not invited Jesus into your heart, you have not had this new life, and today, you want to receive because God is here. He's saying that, okay, this present is here. Who wants to take it? Who wants to take this gift of new life with me? Hands up. Okay, hands up. Hands up high. Because you know what? Our bodies is just going to stand beside you. Okay, we're just going to stand around you. Because this is an 
important decision that you are making. So hands up, hands up. Don't put it down. Okay, you, you are, I'm sure you all are not tired. Put, you can put both hands up also, okay? The bodies will just come around you. Wow, so many of you. But some of you, maybe you said, I've said this before. Hands up, I'll leave. I've said this before, but you feel that you have gone so far away from God. You want to come back because you felt that, you know, I said that Jesus come into my life, but after a while, I, I think I didn't follow Jesus. I disappear, I do something else. And today, you say that you want to come back to Jesus. You want to come back to the life that Jesus gave you. You also put your hands up. Okay? Just hands up. Okay? I want everyone to close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. This is an, an important decision that you are making today. And this will affect how you live your life. Because by making this de decision, you are saying, God, you are now my teacher. You teach me in this new life. Okay? Now, I want all of you to just repeat after me. Okay? Repeat. Even though you have said this prayer before, doesn't matter. Everyone say it together. Lord Jesus, I love you. I accept you into my life. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Today, I confess all my sins to you. I'm sorry for all the wrong things I've done. Jesus, come into my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone say, Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus a big cap offering. You know, in the Bible, it says this. When, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. We are not done yet. We are not done yet. When someone accepts Jesus into their life, you know what the Bible says or not? When one person, who knows what the Bible says? When one person accepts Jesus into their life, what happens in the heavens? Yes. The angels celebrate. They didn't say the angel. Not one, no. The angels. The whole heavens celebrate. Everyone celebrate just for one person that said that prayer. Today, how many of you said that prayer? So many of you, right? So, means there's a celebration up there. And here, we are going to celebrate as well, okay? So, we're going to celebrate. When I come to three, Everyone, you're going to shout, woo shout as loud as you can, like a celebration, and give a big clap. Okay, we're going to celebrate together. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Woo! Wonderful. Very good. So, continue standing up, because we're going to, we're going to end with a worship song. But, this new series, this life, this new, new life, in this series, that we learn about being in new life. Remember what was my point just now? When we receive this gift, what should we do? How should we honour Jesus? What was the line just now? Follow Him 100%. Can, so now this is my second part. Can we have the lights off? How many of you, you say, Jesus... I thank you for this gift and now I want to make a decision to say I want to follow you 100% in this new life. In this new life. Hands up. If that is your prayer to say yes, I want to say today no matter what has happened I want to follow Jesus 100%. No matter I, I feel sad, I'm happy it doesn't matter I want to follow Jesus 100%. Hands up. Wonderful. So we're going to sing. We're going to worship. Okay, we're going to end with worship. Shall we do that? We are in a church, right? Kids Zone is a church. In this new life with Jesus, we want to end with a time of worship and we're going to sing, Lord, I need you. In my life, in every single day, I need you 100%. No matter what is going, what I'm going through in my life, I need you, Lord. Shall we do that? Shall we worship Jesus together? Come, let's everyone, let's close our eyes. Let's prepare our hearts as we worship Jesus. Lord, I come I confess 
bowing here I find my rest without you I fall apart you're the one that guides my heart let's sing it again Lord I come all over this place let's sing it Lord I come I confess bowing here I find my rest without you Raise up our hands and sing. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God. You know, I just feel something in my heart. I know all of you can sing much better. I don't think that was your 100% to God. I know you all, Kid Zone, you all can worship one. Okay? Don't let the tiredness or don't let the time feel, ah, yeah, I'm go home already. Don't let all that distract you. Okay? I know you guys can do much better. Again, let's honor God. Remember, we said we make a decision, let's honor God. As you worship again, I want everyone to worship 100%. Okay, shall we do that? Alright, let's do that. Let's sing it again from the top. Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest without you. That's right, come on. I fall apart, you're the one. Lord, I need you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need you every day. Lord, I need Just sing to Jesus one more time. Lord, I need you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we need you. Your best right now, proclaim to Jesus that we need you all over this place. Lord, I need You're my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need. Let's just repeat that last line, it's so powerful. My one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need. One last time. My one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. 
Hallelujah. We need you, Father. Lord. Oh, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This decision that all of you have made today to say that you want to be in this new life with Jesus, don't take it lightly. Be serious about it. Be serious. Because children, you all know, right? Outside there. Outside there meaning what? In the social media, the news, outside. After you leave this place, there's a lot of bad things bad news bad things that people do bad actions wrong actions there's all outside there can we hide from it? no but when we say Jesus I need you allow Jesus to lead you when you hear all these things don't get distracted you said right follow Jesus 100% don't let all these things around the world try to make you, oh, oh what should I do? Uh, oh, no, oh, no. Don't have to be afraid because the Bible, just now the song says what? Jesus, you're my one defense. I want to trust in you. Trust in you. You're my righteousness. God, I need you. Jesus will protect us. Jesus will protect you. Remember? You are not alone. Now you're no longer alone in this new life with Jesus. Whenever you need help, Pray. Ask Jesus to help. And especially now we are in the 40 days of prayer and fasting. If you have not made a decision to do it, can I encourage you today? Can I challenge you today? Do the 40 days prayer and fasting. If you don't have the book, you can still get the book from us. Do it. Do it well. Okay? Now as we close. Can I invite Uncle Kim Soon? Can you close us in prayer? Yeah, can we have a mic for Uncle Kim Soon? Continue standing up. Everyone stand up. You're doing very well. Just stand up and close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Pastor Jerry was uh, giving the, the invitation. Uncle Kim Soon was standing there. So happy. God sees so many of you young people put up a hand. I think almost like uh, 90% or more. Listen to what Pastor Jeremy said because God said that through him. Don't take this lightly, but it is a wonderful relationship. Yeah. This new life is a wonderful life. So I want to applaud all of you and let us pray. I want all of you Lift up the hands. Lifting, lifting up the hands is a sign of surrendering to God and saying, Yes, God. Today I invited you to my life. Yeah. And you are my God. Mm. The one and only. That's right. Amen. Lord Jesus and Father in heaven, you see all these hands lifted up to you in heaven. Lord, it is our kids surrendering to you. Yeah. Knowing that today they have a new life yeah. a new beginning yes and it's going to be a new experience for them that's right because you are going to be with them wherever they are in their coming and in their going lord jesus you will walk beside them and you hold their hands in this journey amen sometimes they get lost but we know lord that you will lift them up mm. just like you go all the way to find that one ship. One ship that has gone out. Amen. Amen. And Jesus found the ship. We thank you, Lord, that you will not just hold the ship back, but you lift the ship. That's right. On his shoulder. Jesus will lift us up. Amen. And take you back. That's Amen. what Jesus will do. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Jesus. We thank you indeed today. Holy Spirit, Lord, you are present yeah. you are with us today amen. lord i know lord father that you are speaking to every child here mm. there are about 150 of you every child including us the buddies 
Lord, you are speaking to us right now. Amen. That you know that your assurance for us is all in your word, in your Bible. That you are always with us, never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. This is who He is, our Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. He has never changed. He's the same yesterday, He's the same today, and He's the same tomorrow and forever. Amen. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you indeed for a wonderful, wonderful morning service. That's right. And for our friends online, likewise, the Father, those who have lifted up their hands and received this new life from Christ into their life. Lord, we ask that you too will bless them. Yeah. You too will always make your face shine upon Amen. all our children here, Lord. That's right. And you will make your face shine to them yes. and be gracious to them That's right. and you will always turn your face to them amen and let your peace be with our children that's right wherever that's right. they go amen thank you lord we give you all the blessing we give you all the glory amen. in the name of jesus christ and all children say what amen 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 thank you good sir yes let's give jesus another big camp offering everyone be give yeah, come on. Okay, all of you can be seated. Okay, we got something special, some announcement. And I'm going to invite back Woody and what's the other person's name? Woody and Buzz. Okay, Woody yeah. and Buzz, can you come back? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Okay, so, so I just want to check uh, uh, Buzz, Buzz. Yes, yes. So, do you manage to find this new life, this new adventure in the place that you got? You, do you find it or not? Mm -hmm. Found it, but do, do you get that kind of the, the satisfaction that you're looking for or not yet? Not yet. But, but you, you feel happy but not yet? Just get, not yet. Not yet lah. Okay, so actually, so I'm going to ask, okay? Oh. Uh, Mr. Woody. Oh, yes. Actually, uh -huh. this new life, uh -huh. that place that you wanted to bring your friend there, yes, right? yes, yes. it was not just purely about the place. No. Correct, right? It's not just mm -hmm. about the place that is nice or what actually what do you think was the important thing where you have this kind of joy this kind of passion this ah, kind of like ooh. like this bigger meaning to your life mm. actually was it the new place no no no, no, no. So it what, was something what, what else was it actually it's not because the place the place is nice place is nice place is very nice yeah, of course, okay, it's, it's very, very nice, nice. Very nice. but it's very not nice. about the place okay it's about who is in that place who is in that place yes. and you know who is in that place mm. God. You are there now, but before that, God was God. there. Yes, ah, yes. In that ah. new place. Because oh. you know why God is there. It's not to say God is there and not here. Yes. Ah, it's not just, oh. oh, God is only stuck in one place. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. everywhere. But it's everywhere. actually because, because our friend here, mm -hmm. ah, if you didn't know, he's actually a Christian. Yes. Ah, he actually, uh, your Bible, do you think oh. your Bible? Ah. Uh, by Jimmy Gogo. Can you help me take something at the back there? Bible, oh, thank you. He forgot his Bible. Forgot, sorry. Oh, yeah. So actually, sorry. Ah, ah, ah. what our friend Woody here wanted to show Buzz mm -hmm. was Ooh. actually, it's not about the place. Yes. It's about that relationship he had with God. Correct. In the beginning. Yes, yes. Correct yes. or not? Correct, so, correct, which correct. means now, thank do you, you want this new relationship? Of course. Do you want this new life with God? Now? Yes. Nice. Okay, so that is because a lot of us also want this kind of... Of course, of course, of course. A nice life, this new journey, right? That's right. So, this one's going to happen. Because we say, we are not here alone, right, Ma? Correct? No, no, no. We don't do it alone. So, which means now, uh, Buzz yes. will have Woody to help him. Yes. In this journey. Yes. Same like all of us. All of you may feel, yes. hey, after I said this already, I accepted Jesus in my life already, right? What's going to happen? Am I stuck? No. Oh, no, no, no. Who no, do no, they no. have? Because they have, they, uh, he has you. Uh -huh. Who do they have? They have God. They have got, God, they've got your, your friends, your parents, your parents, friends, else. your teachers, teachers, leaders, your buddies here also can ah, help you. So that's what I want to say. You look at all these people standing up there, all wear purple colour one. Ooh. These are all your buddies that can help you in your journey. Yes, okay? yes. Remember yes. in this discipleship series, Correct. we want to help you to know Jesus better. So that's right. That's if right. you have more questions about who Jesus is and all that kind of thing, that's right. Come and mm -hmm. talk to us. That's okay. Right. Yep. So because we want to help you know Jesus better in this new life. So that's right. I think both of you got Bible study later. Yes, right? yes, 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 go, yes, okay, yes. So you need this Bible oh, later. Okay, you need this Bible later. Thank you. So before you all go, yes. I think there are some important announcements we you have, need to we have, we have, we have, we have. We have two major important. Yeah, yeah, very okay, okay, okay. So let's see what you want to tell us. Okay, okay. So the first announcement that we have. 
want is that next week mm -hmm. there won't be any physical service. Service will still run, but it will be online. Online, yes, on our YouTube channel. So you can go and see. Woo. It's on Saturday at 5 p.m. What time? Y'all don't know what time is it? It's 5 p.m. What time is it? Correct. On the 14th of August. And also, there for the preteens. Who are preteens here? Come on, preteens. Raise your hands. Come on, preteens. All of you preteens, there will be no preteen cell on the 13th of August. August. They know better than you. La. 13th of <laughs> August. You must remember August. that. And another thing that you must remember, the NCEF booklet. The 40 Days Fast and Prayer booklet. Yes. We still have the hard copy books, right? You Indeed. also took one, right, for yes. Bible study? Of course. So if you still want, you can collect them on your way out. Yeah. And I think that's all the announcements we have oh, for this. Uh, sorry, Mr. Woody, we just got information. The book finished already. Oh, finished already? Finished. Finish. Huh? Oh, you. Wow. So, okay, how many of you still want the books? You still want the books, but you didn't get a chance to buy. Hands up, hands oh. up, hands up. Woo. Okay, so we got a few. We, got few. One. we have it online. online. Online, online. So it's going to, okay, so you need to go to N N E N E C C F. F. You just Google that one. N C E F. You okay. will see it's all there. I will also, we will also send out on our social media. Okay. And all also right. to your parents. So you can download the online version, the soft copy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. All so right. go and get it online. And do we have any more announcements? Yes, the map. Very oh, good. Yeah, the yeah, map. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, we are going to be launching the online revision. So, you can see here, online as well. Online. You can scan the QR code or go to this link, tiny.cc slash KZ Fellowship. So, if you want to qualify to get the badges for the map, like Jimmy Coco over there, the map over there, you have to do this link, okay? Yep. All right. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh oh, okay. Beautiful. beautiful. Ah, you have to do to collect the badges for this map, okay? Yes. And now we have officially finished all the announcements this week. But yes. We have to say bye bye to the online friends. Indeed. So, to all the online friends, thank you very much. And all of us, we're going to say bye from here, okay? Let's say bye bye. One, two, three. Bye. bye.